What's up, everyone? Today, let's discuss the meaning of Venus in your astrology chart from a comedic African astrology perspective. Here we see on the screen the planet Venus, shown as the goddess Heteru here from Kemet, and Oshun here in the Yoruba system. And Venus in our system has several core meanings, some quite different from what the West see as Venus. First of all, each planet is a talent in you. What is Heteru in you, in your chart? She's your talent for this phrase, enjoy this. Wherever Benosar, we call Benosar Venus or Heteru, sits in your chart, you're being called by this archetype within you to enjoy this. So if she's in your fifth house, you should enjoy theater and children. If Venus is in your ninth house, you should enjoy spirituality and philosophy and education. If she's in your eighth house, you should enjoy the occult arts and the mystical side of life. Now, she controls two main things about your talents. She's your talent to enjoy something on command. There are some things we can enjoy because we're wired to do so. For most people, that would include fine food. We all love a good meal. We all love good sex. We all love good friendships. We all adore wonderful relationships. There are certain things our biology is hardwired to find pleasure in. So that's easy. That's Heteru flowing like the river she is very naturally. But to be a master at her talent is when you can enjoy something that you're not hardwired to enjoy, like eating your spinach or exercising when you don't feel like it or going to work or doing your homework or doing your chores. That's when we can test, do you have a mastery of her science? And her science is, enjoy this. Even if you're not hardwired. The way you do this is you say, I shall choose to enjoy eating my spinach. I shall choose to enjoy going to work. I shall choose to enjoy doing my chores, etc. Once you make that choice and you answer the question, okay, if I have to eat this plate of spinach, how can I do so and have a blast in the process? How can I have a blast going to work? How can I have a blast doing my chores? You see, if you a answer that question, then Hetheru, we say, will bless you. Your talent for creating joy on command is now awakened. You are now in the river of honey. Now, we have a meme for her. Here, smile, my dear, visualize the best, being sure to leave behind all the rest. Because she is the queen that says, the way to really enjoy something is to visualize the best things in that something, in that act. So she owns creativity, imagination, and turning lemons into lemonade. Do you have the talent for this, for things you don't like through hard wiring, that you don't like innately? The other thing about her that's very key and not much involved in the Western view of this planet, Heteru, or Venus, deals a lot with choice-making. She's called Heteru. The word Heru means to choose, and Het means the house. So Heteru means the house of luminous choices, because Heru is the sun. She's the house of luminous choices. Now, the sun makes things clear. You can see very clearly in daylight. This meaning is worth its weight in gold, which is her metal. In chemistry, it's called Nubet, the queen of gold. Now, she controls making good decisions. Why? Because she understands value. 
she sees clearly, like on a bright day, she sees the clear value or the clear cheapness of a person, place, thing, idea, or event. To do so, you need to have what's called a checklist, a due diligence checklist. Do you have a list of what is truly a valuable mate? Or do you just kind of fall in love, recalling that when you fall, you hurt yourself? Do you have a checklist of a valuable home, of what that means, a checklist of a valuable friend? You should write down literally on a piece of paper. This is what a valuable friend is. This is what a valuable home is. This is what a valuable pair of shoes are. And you want to have clarity about this, like the sun shining on a bright day. If you don't have this clarity of value checklists, you will get cheap shoes, you will hook up with a, an idiot person to mate with, and you'll buy a lemon of a home that will lose value over time. So when your Venus is strong in your chart, you are able to find the value of that area of life very, very easily. When she is damaged in your chart, you pick the cheap mudslide quicksand version, the fool's gold version of those things in your life. The Western people aren't told about this part of hetero Venus, that you have to actually do your due diligence checklist, your homework, your research to find out what's a valuable mate? What's a valuable way of buying a car? What makes this conversation valuable? If you're talking to someone, a friend or something else, you have to know and take the time to figure it out. Here we have an image of the planet ben Venus, from ancient Egypt. This is from the Dendera Zodiac. And it shows a two-headed deity. Why is this? The two heads represent the two levels of joy. There's the joy that is hardwired into you. And the joy, that's this one in the back here. And the joy that you have to choose to create, even though you don't like what you have to do. That's this front hawk, this Heru energy with the crown of peace and calm on it. Meaning this is the part of it that enjoys eating the spinach, the hawk head, and this human head back here is the joy that you have at a great meal, which is pretty much universal for all humans. The double head also refers to the fact that you have to have joy within yourself, joy of yourself, valuing your own self with high self-esteem, and then learning to enjoy the external life. We do a technique here where to create love, you start with by smiling a sweet smile deep into your cells, your mitochondria, your cell walls, your DNA. That's why she's the joyous resurrection of your good DNA, the good side of your family lineage. So one must begin to look into the DNA, look into the deep cellular structure, and fill it with this joyous kind of sweetness or honey. If you can't smile into your own DNA, if you can't smile into your own cells, you won't have enough energy to radiate that to other people. This is the key secret to this mystery. So, that wraps up our understanding of Ben Sar. Enjoy this. She's your talent to enjoy no matter what. No matter how hard the work or unpalatable, you say, you know what? Because of Heteru, I can choose to enjoy this by smiling, my dear, visualizing the best, being surely behind all the rest in what I'm about to have to do. We pray you enjoyed this video. We look forward to sharing more with you. You can go to the website here kingrosumba.com for more information and we will speak with you all soon. Dwawend Hotapu.